Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a variety of junctions in Site3D. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create a standard T junction between this road and this center line. So to do that I need to upgrade this center line into a road and I will add my channels, curves and footways to it to do so. So these are all defaults, you can change them to whatever you want but I'm going to click OK. And as soon as you have two roads that junction uh, that hit like this, it'll offer a junction straight away, and you can change the uh, the radii in that then if you want to. And it's a live preview; it updates automatically. Click create junction once you're finished, and straight away it's actually offering me a second junction. And this is because the other end of this road ends at another road over here, and so it's, it's it'll allow you to do multiple junctions in one hit. So once it's created the junction. It go, an, an, annotates it automatically, and it's, this is a, a, a dynamic junction, so you can just move the endpoints around, and you can see they update as well as the contours and the annotations and everything. So that's a standard T-junction. We have a, um, a road that bends around, and if we want to create a loopback junction, we just move the endpoint and drop it back onto itself. And there we go, we have a, uh, an automatic calculation of this junction here. Exactly the same as before, we can just hit Create Junction. So we've got our, our uh, automatic annotation added to, for us. So another style of junction would be a junction onto an existing road. Now this one's down here. So <clears throat> on the survey we have an existing road you can see going through here with the uh, bottom of channels and top of curbs. And we want to latch this road onto it. So to do that we replicate the um, center line. We replicate the channel uh, by using a center line on the uh, survey by snapping to it. So just very quickly do that. I'm going to go a little bit further than I need to just to make sure that um, you only need to do the small amount that, that the junctions will go to. I'm going to uh, level that one, so road, center line extras, level to surface. Drop this one to existing ground. It's going to warn me that if there was a previous alignment, it's going to remove it and replace it with its own. That's fine. And let's drop this one down. So the next thing I want to do is add my channels and curbs to this one. Now I only want to add it to one side. So I only, uh, want to also make sure that the channel on this one is zero width. Because I drew the channel on, I drew the center line on the channel. So uh, yeah, there we go. And now it's going to offer me a junction as it has always done before. So click that one and we have this 3D junction. So uh, we've got some uh, windows popping up here. These are just friendly reminders because I moved some roads over here. They had some vertical alignments, um, but uh, it's just saying you've moved it horizontally. You may want to look at the vertical alignment because it may no longer reference what it used to. Okay, so if I turn off the um, 3D survey, you can see what we're, what's happening here. So we now are locking into the uh, bottom of channel here, or bottom of curb. We have our nice existing junction. Right, okay. So another style of junction is lanes and tapers. Now, these are very, very easy to add. You go into our uh, junction tools, um, edit junction dimensions, and pick one of the dimensions. So in this case, what I actually want to do is right click on one side and say, rather than entering my radius, I just want to change this one to a lane. So we have that there done for us, and then we can edit the length. We can just literally pick and drag. And we can change these values. We can either do them um, by eye, and um, we can also right click and hit enter table length and say, well, that should be 35 meters, say. We can do that same for all of those values. That's one side, let's do the other. Let's change this one into a table just to show the difference. So again, we can pick and drag we can drop these around, we can right click, enter table length, <coughs> enter something that's relevant to what you need, change the offsets, etc. That's all fine and doable. And again, this is a dynamic junction. You can move that around and it will update with you. Thank you.